What's up, people? So, we're gonna bust a myth right now, aren't we? I think so. And that myth, started by too many people, and the Top Gear people is, that Mexico can't build a car. Well, that's just not true. In fact, we have a race car built in Mexico. It's actually amazing. It's carbon fiber monocot, carbon fiber body, unbelievable, Nissan powered, and it's seriously nice. And if I didn't tell you where it was built, you wouldn't realize it. So yes, uh, Mexicans are pretty smart. You guys, Hi there. tell everybody about our Mexican race car. Uh, this is our 1993 Tame Racing uh, TA120, TA model TA120 sports prototype that was built October 1993, it says on the dash right there. Yeah. And it's a carbon fiber monocoque chassis with a 2.4 liter here, Nissan inline four cylinder. This, this is a nice carbon monocoque. It's pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. look at that. This is every bit as nice or nicer than a lot of WSC prototypes made in America I, I saw. Even our, the last one we have, this is higher quality. That's pretty cool. What do you think, Chad? I think so. Yeah? Uh, what do you think about the fact that it's as nice as it is and was built in Mexico? Does that kind of blow your mind? Yeah, it's kind of strange. I never thought of race cars being built in Mexico before. So that's because nobody thinks about it. But this is a series down in Mexico and South America. There's some of these running in Europe. Yep. yep. I think they raced in Mexico for three or four years. And they had a car that I think was a little bit a higher class than this with a turbo on it, but this one's naturally. Yeah, that one probably had the what the V6 based out of the 300ZX, I would imagine. I am not sure. Okay, so more what do we got here? Describe this, guys. Uh, yeah, it's a carbon fiber monocoque. That's a naturally aspirated 2.4 liter inline four cylinder. Yeah, it's got the, individual throttle bodies and electronic fuel injection. Yep, it's okay. cool. It's got a uh, magnesium transaxle, a stops. Transactual. Yeah, stops, five speed, yeah. Yep. It's got nice AP Lockheed uh, brake calipers and everything, really nice operates. Really beautiful double wishbone suspension and push rod suspension. Mm -hmm. So yeah. the shocks are mounted here. Uh, yeah. Uh, no, that's the push rod that comes up here. Yep. And that's the rocker arm, and there's the springs. Mm, it sure is. All in board. And the carbon fiber monocoque is really the front part that holds the, the the cockpit, as well as hangs all the front suspension, everything like that. Mm -hmm. And then the engine, as well as the transaxle, are partially stressed. Correct. And yeah, then all, all these suspension arms bolt to the trans, to the uh, transaxle and the bell housing. Yep. And a lot like in Indy cars have been in all the um, the sump tank. The oil sump tank is inside the bell housing. Correct. Okay. Yeah, this is the filler for it. You can see it's right behind the valve cover. Yes. And can you point out to the guys the big trunnions or the supportive tube frame aspect that uh, well, comes off the back of the monocoque? Yeah. So there's one here. There's two arms that uh, triangulate back here to the monocoque. Okay. Underneath the, the exhaust the there. Can you point to the ones on this side for everybody to see? Jeff, yes. did you go over and do that? Jeff Gordon. Oh yeah, there it is. Show him the shift rod. Can you see that? Yes, this is the. Yeah. It's got the right-hand drive, like a lot of them are. You know, most road race courses in the world go clockwise, so it's better to have the driver on the right, generally speaking. Um, and uh, it's got the radiators on the side. Scoops the air from there. Comes out the top. Obviously, you can see it's the uh, center nut. Uh, Wheels, air foil, but um, carbon fiber under tray there. Where's all our body work, by the way? Uh, they're actually in the front. This is the uh, belly pan. Oh, that's right, it's up front. Carbon fiber with some Here's corrugated the, stuff yeah. in the metal. No, it's all, I mean, it's all super high quality. This is a lightweight, all carbon fiber prototype race car. And if we wanted to, we could easily put a different motor in it, build right. it for turbo. I mean, it'd be an absolute rocket ship. And um, I'm just blown away, you guys. What do you think? You trying to get by? Oh yeah, I'm trying to get by. I well, think it's then, super cool. It's a spaceship. How do you feel about <laughs> the fact it was made in Mexico? I don't know. I mean, let's face it. People usually joke and make fun of like nobody ever thinks about a high quality race car coming out of that country. Yeah, I mean, I honestly don't know what countries do make race cars. So well, everybody likes to think oh, England and Italy. This thing takes. Kick some serious butt. I mean, honestly, this car is genuinely on par with stuff out of Italy and England oh, yeah. and everything else. I mean, yeah, no, it's super cool. I guess where I was going with this is, you know, it's kind of been a lesson to me about realizing that, you know, great things can come from all over. But um, it was really cool. And quite frankly, because everybody looked it over, looked past it, we were able to get a smoking deal on it, you guys, right? Oh, yeah. I don't remember, but it was a really good deal. Yeah. Hunter, you looked up this car and racing. What would you find out about the history of it? Um, they raced in from like 1993 to 1996. It's mainly some of the, the old Nissan stuff that came over from the, the North or American series. Yes. Like right at the end of the 80s, the Nissan oh, interesting. and that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. So basically, they decided to quit doing running that with a class disappeared or something like that. Yes. And then Nissan really wanted to sell cars 
down in Mexico. Pretty big market for them. So they built a cool series. So they built a cool series and and they were using were they using like uprights and suspension bits from other things I, or I think, I think a lot of the, the suspensions and stuff were from from the other stuff they just repurposed it. Did a, did a slightly different body. Well, what? Uh, how do you like the car? I think it's pretty. It's pretty cool. Yeah, we got to finish it up. So, you guys, what are you doing on it right now? We haven't ran it yet. What do we need to do to make this thing be something? Uh, right now, cleaning up all the uh, yeah, the fuel. Uh, it's all turned to varnish, and yeah. it smells really bad. So, cleaning up all the fuel lines, the, replacing a couple fuel pumps, change the fluids and everything, and uh, maybe reroute some lines for the uh, radiators because they go all over the engine bay to connect the two of them. Yeah, just the basics and whatnot. See yeah. where it is. Seals, brake calipers. Yeah. Clean up the outside, give it a cool paint job. Yep. Mm -hmm. yeah. Definitely. Right. Make it look cool. Well, anyway, so yeah, that's our m latest project here at Genius Garage. And it's from Mexico! <laughs> Which honestly blows my mind. But yeah. it's a great it's car. Really well and we got a great deal on it, so who could ask for anything more, right? Mm -hmm. So, all right. You guys got anything else you want to add to this? No. How's it gonna be next time? Is it gonna be running? Yeah, hopefully. We got a lot of parts on the way and yep. you gotta make it go fast. Fingers crossed. You enjoying working on it? Yeah, it's been great. What do you think? It's super cool. You're a muscle car kind of guy. What do you think of this? Oh, it's pretty awesome. Totally. All right, guys. Well, hope you enjoy this update. See you next time. Please like, comment, and subscribe. See you next time.